We've got some water in the river today, got a little current to move in, so we're going to go up here and practice some maneuvers. Tulsa firefighters are making sure they're ready for any water rescues. Of course, when it floods, there are more water rescues. Yeah, crews are checking their boats and equipment ahead of the spring storms here in Oklahoma. On average, they deploy to about 50 water rescues a year, and the weather is a big factor. Working in uh, swift water with a boat is a lot different than uh, working on the lake or flat calm water. The Tulsa Fire Department has six boats in service at all times, ready for rescue. Obviously, this is when we get a lot of our rainfall, and so people get into dangerous situations pretty quick when they try to play in flood water. The water rescue team hit the Arkansas River today, practicing maneuvers around the rapid currents. It's a good opportunity for them to get into the netty and practice going upstream and downstream into swift water. Each fireman has a unique job. We hit a lot of stuff something the bowman watches out for. He's reading hydrology and looking for obstructions in the water. Uh, he communicates that to the operator or the tillerman. Uh, so he's using hand signals and they're practicing those hand signals today. And they're practicing how to get to the victim stuck in swift water. If we had a victim over here, this is how we're going to approach him, just nice and steady, easy. We pull them out safely. A scary situation that happens about 50 times a year in Tulsa. We have uh, water rescues come in all over the city. Uh, Mingo Creek, we'll get kids in it playing uh, during this time of year is why we train. Tulsa firefighters say they are expecting to deploy to more water rescues when the gathering place opens. So they're also working on pre-planning how exactly they would respond to different emergencies there.